Well, my name is Antonio Pasqualioni. I'm a, a clinical psychologist and I'm also the director of the um, Psychological Services and Research Center. Our students get their basic training here, right? We see patients, we call them clients, from the community and from on campus who, who are suffering often diagnosable problems. Uh, and they are part of those assessments and those treatments, meaning our graduate students. These are future psychologists. So this is where they're getting their basic training. And then we send them out to do training in hospitals, uh, other placements. So one of the exciting things about this sort of grand opening is uh, the University of Windsor has kind of given us the space and renovated it for us to provide cutting edge clinical training. We have 10 clinical service rooms. Some of them are for group therapy or group uh, kind of debriefings. Other ones are set up for both one-on-one -on -one individual therapy and for assessments so those rooms can dual purpose. Um, sometimes when you're training somebody in how to provide intervention or do complicated assessments it's good to do observation of different kinds. So this is always with the permission of, of the patients, of the clients, but we'll use one-way mirrors. So there are a number of observation rooms. There are four observation rooms in this building where the small room and the supervisor or students who are studying that phenomenon can watch the session live going on. They have headphones and they cannot hear what's going on. It's pretty important to have uh, a building that it doesn't have a cold clinical feel, right? You know, there's a lot of woodwork, there's some beautiful beautiful kind of spaces, some sort of surroundings, and, um, and the idea here is to create more like a, a home environment, right? We have some artwork that's been donated, also purchased from, uh, from, from students who were at the university here. And so uh, if you look around, you'll see a lot of the furniture set up to look kind of like um, somebody's living room or somebody's family room so that people feel comfortable when they come. Uh, this is a specially vulnerable population coming here, right? It's not you're just coming for a medical checkup, but rather um, psychological and emotional issues leave people sort of vulnerable. Um, so approaching a place that is discreet, that is private, but it also feels warm and welcoming is a pretty key part of having the best clinic we can have.